Tales from the Chicks <laughs> install. No, it's been a while, guys. I'm not gonna, uh, not gonna make this video run long because a lot of my old install videos tend tended to run super long. So we're just gonna get straight into it. Uh, today I will be installing the XRS Performance, formerly known as Jixer Boys LED um, low beam and high beam upgrade kit. As you guys know, on my other video I've done before on upgrading my um, headlights to HID, I used uh, some Bike Master, kind of rigged it together. It was a big mess. How big of a mess? This big of a mess. So we're going to take this, and I'm actually donating this to my friend because he wanted it. And we're going to go to something a lot better, a lot plug and play, less power cons consumption, um, and less heat. Uh, and we're going to install it on our 2015 GSXR 600. Uh, this will also work from the 2011 up to 2017, I believe, um, 600 and 750s. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. A lot of steps are going to be skipped because number one, this is an easy install, and number two, uh, if you guys need reference on how to take off the gauge cluster, things like that, I'm going to go through it really quick this time, but if you want more in depth, please check out my other video where I upgrade the, the headlights to HIDs. Anyway, let's get into it guys, let me show you what this package comes with. Alright guys, so what you get with your XRS Performance, like I said, formerly known as Jixer Boys package, you get all this. You get the two ballast. And look at how short these wires are. They are all plug and play. We don't need to connect anything to the battery, solder anything, or run wires. Here you got your um, high beam, your low beam, and some adopters and zip ties to uh, put these down. And these, I'm not sure where we're going to put them yet, but we'll figure it out. They got supplied Velcro, double sides. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. And the only thing you should need is a four millimeter um, hex uh, tool here. Step one is going to involve removing your gauge cluster as I said last time get your four millimeter there's a screw right here you can see it in the camera go ahead and take that apart shouldn't be too hard two hours later okay go ahead and grab it and save that bad boy and put it aside and with your screw out guys you can go ahead and lift this and pull it from the grommets, there's two, on one on each side. Careful not to damage your gauge cluster. Might need to force it a little bit. There we go. And of course, guys, there's a boot in the back connected to it, so slide the boot down. And you'll be able to get to the clip that you gotta un hold down so you can unclip it. Grab your cluster, be careful, and put that bad boy aside. Maybe even clean it up if it's super dusty. Alright guys, so the next step is we're going to go ahead and remove the rubber boot here. Just pull the tabs on both sides. And it comes out. Alright, and then go ahead and release the lock here for the bulb and right now the bulb you're seeing is my old HID bulb I'm pulling out here so if it looks different from yours uh, that's why but we're gonna take it out of this boot while I'm here I'm gonna go ahead and take out the uh, bottom light it's hard to see here on the camera but really all you're gonna do is just twist it and pull it back and it comes right out and once again, like I said, that's my old HID. So Jixer boys are now XRS Performance. As you can see, there's 
the card. They still got their old cards. Give you the zip tie pack, and they also give you the adopters here for the top light. So you come with uh, this kind of squishy adopter. And this hard plastic adopter. It has like a little red tab on it. So what you're going to do is, there's a, this red tab is going to be facing the back of the bike, so it's going to go in like that. And this is going to go on top of it. Like that. So let's put it in. Alright guys, it's kind of hard to see from this angle because of the steering column, but we're going to go ahead and put in this first one. Okay, you might want to hold it because it's not going to hold itself. And then you're going to put in the next one over the back of that. You might have to hold the other one while you're doing this. Okay. And it'll basically kind of just fit in that circle. You'll feel it. It kind of looks crooked. But... That's the way it's supposed to be. And there you go. So we got a nice smooth hole there. As you can see. Real nice and smooth. So, uh, and there's also a dead spider over there. Let's go ahead and put in our bulb. So we're going to go ahead and put it in our supplied um, LED light. There you go. That's what it looks like. Got the little braid cord here. Uh, before I do, I'm going to go ahead and close this clip. Don't need it open right now. And then go ahead and insert the bulb. Just find the tabs here so I can light, line it up. Okay. Helps to look from the front. Make sure you got it positioned right. Okay, so I got it in. I had to come out through the... Um, other side of the bike to kind of push it in. You don't have to push it in a lot. It'll it'll go in, but you got to kind of push it and turn at the same time. All right, guys. So you're gonna get your boot, and it says you have to pop out the center. So you can go like this, kind of turn it inside out. And that's what it should look like. Got little threads there, and you're gonna go ahead and run the line out through here and put this back in the way it goes. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. Run the line through. It's a short line. There you go. And then go ahead and put the boot back on. Alright guys, now get your bottom light. All you're going to do is just twist it in. Alright guys, so we got the bulbs in. And as you can see, let me just demonstrate here. I'll show you a comparison. Here's the other bulbs. You already saw them go in. Here's the ballast. Not very long. Right here you're going to have your end that goes into your um, stock harness. And this one's going to go into the new bulb. Same thing for the other one. And you can tell which one's which. Because uh, the stock harnesses are different. This one's like more of a plug with an outer thing on it. This one goes to the bulb. And then you just got to find somewhere to mount them. That will show you in a bit, but right now let me just compare with you the old kit. As you can see, we got all this relay shit, which was actually interfering with my steering because the damper and the steering column was getting caught in this repeatedly. So turning, cornering was very hard. A lot of people even notice this. Um, or I shouldn't say a lot of people, but my friend had noticed that my turning and cornering was a little off. 
and he uh, turned my wheel and he said, well, something's wrong. And I told him, well, this is what's wrong. And then, of course, on the other kit, you had your ballast, all this stuff, this crap. It was a big mess. So, here we are. Not to mention it was super hot. Now, guys, I'm not really going to, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and hook these up right now. And kind of gauge where is the best mounting place for these. So, went ahead and got all of it connected. I don't know if you can see in there, the lighting's kind of bad, but let me zoom in a little bit. Everything's connected up in there. I got the wires running here through the side, as you can see. And the thing is, don't connect the lights before you run the ballast. Run the ballast, I run the ballast through here. As you can see, it's not on yet, but I put it here. It's going to be pretty much uh, here. This is where I'm going to fix it to. A little bit away from the radiator, it's right here. And the lines run up there through the top into that area. Plenty of room. Clear the, the steering damper and the steering. Same thing on this side. As you can see, there's the lines. I'm going to press them down and uh, affix them here. Um, but once again, I ran the uh, ballast first and ran the lines up and then connected. And it's going to be about right, right here. I think that's where I'm going to mount it. Anyway guys, so uh, let me get some rubbing alcohol and a towel so I can clean the area first before I stick it, otherwise they're not going to stick, I'll tell you that right now. And um, once I get that, I will put the clutch cluster back on, which I probably won't show you how to do because it's the reverse. But uh, we'll wrap it up and I'll give you my final words and show you how it looks. Alright guys, so got that all set up, I ended up mounting right there where I said I was. So that one's there. Lining is all through the side here on the bottom. Really hard to see, but it's there. Going around, making sure that it's not getting in the way of the steering damper. Um, <coughs> there's a little more tightness on this side, so you might want to put this up a little higher if you can. It's hard because of the radiator. It works, but it's, um, it's better to put that side of the bike higher. This one has longer cable for some reason. I was able to mount it right here, close to the side here, near the top of the radiator. And there's lots of slack there, so you can kind of tuck it in there on the bottom. And that's it, guys. And let's check out the final product. They definitely look white. Um, I don't know if they're as bright as my HIDs, but they are white. Right now, I got the high beams on. see if I can show you a little bit better hold on okay so there it is really white they look good the high beams on of course we're in a fucking room so it's hard to tell there's low beams high beams they are more instantaneous than my HIDs were that had to warm up before they got to their full brightness but uh, overall See if I can find the light here. Hold on. Overall, guys, it was uh, not bad. I like them. Uh, I'm going to ride on them, see how they are at night. And I might do an update video on that. But for now, guys, that was the install of the XRS Performance LED bulbs. High and low beam, the GB1 and GB2 kit. And yeah, pretty fucking easy install. Uh, I'm happy with it. What I'm mostly happy with, this is my spare helmet, guys, um, is that I don't have all this shit anymore. It's a fucking mess. Seriously, this whole fucking thing. So, anyway, guys, this is going to go to my friend. He wants to put, I guess, uh, maybe HIDs or something on his bike, so... There's that. He's got the exact same bike as me. And I meant to put out a video when we went riding. Uh, I haven't looked at the footage yet. Hopefully it's okay. But I do plan on making an update video soon, guys. I know that I don't post on this channel much, but really what it comes down to is, you know, I got a shitty camera that works when it wants to, and I got a busy schedule. Not that I don't want to post, and I don't want to say this channel's dead just yet. 
Um, just trying to get back on the grind and take care of life at the same time. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, believe it or not guys, it helps me a shit ton if you fucking subscribe and like these videos. I want to know if it's worth it guys because, t you know, believe it or not, it's a lot of effort to shoot all this and go into detail and edit it and put it up guys. It, it is a process. It is, it is work. And, and I don't mind doing it, but I want to know that you guys want it. And I know there are some subscribers that do comment wondering where I'm at, uh, wanting to see more of this, and I appreciate that, guys. Keep it fucking coming. I want to hear it. You know, uh, the best thing you can do if you really want to help me is share my videos. Share them on Facebook. Share them everywhere you can, guys. Um, it would really fucking help out. I want to see uh, a boost in subscribers. I want to see some more likes. I want to see more engagement, and I'll make more videos. Alright, so with that being said, guys, this is your Jigs Keeper, and until next time, keep it creepy, motherfuckers. Oh, yeah.